a major warning before watching this tutorial. If you decide to flash TWRP and root on your Galaxy S8, it is crucial to have OEM unlocked option activated. To do so, go into settings, about phone, software information and click bill number 7 times to activate developer options. Then go back into settings main page, scroll down and get into developer options. Search for OEM unlock and tick it so that it looks on. Then power up the device and continue watching the tutorial. This action will wipe your data only this time, because you'll need to deactivate the encryption to data partition in TWRP after you install it and that will erase all your data. Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and tonight I will show you how to install TWRP recovery and how to root your Galaxy S8. The moment has come. So this is gonna be a simple and straightforward review. I have right here my PC, my uh, USB-C connector connected to my PC along with my Galaxy S8. And uh, on the screen, as you may see, there are three files. TWRP recovery, Majisk, we're gonna be flashing root with, and um, Odin 3.10, this is the version of the Odin I would like to use, and it's never let me down. The first thing you'll need to do is to power off your device, mine is already powered off, and uh, secondly, you'll need to get into download mode. As I told you before in my previous uh, video, if you haven't watched it, please make sure you watch it, it's listed in the card below. Um, it's a tutorial on how to get into download mode and recovery mode, this time we'll only get into download mode. And um, if you just don't want to watch it and you want to, to just continue watching this review, all you have to do is to press uh, at the same time volume down key, Bixby key and power key and we'll get into download mode immediately as you may see warning press volume up and right now we're into download mode so all you need to do now is to open up um, odin and this is odin right here as you may see and then i will connect the galaxy s8 to my pc by using the type c connector cable connected and um, right now on your PC if you're running Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows 10 so on your PC right now it will show up the driver installation pop-up and uh, from time to time from, uh, and in a couple of seconds you'll see Odin saying added here in the lock section says added and that's that means that my Galaxy S8 has been recognized by um, by the PC. Okay now, so um, in order to get TWRP working, as stated uh, before, you'll need to have OEM uh, unlocked, OEM unlocked as I as I showed you earlier, and uh, click AP. Now navigate to the desktop where we have all these files. As you may see, the only clickable. Um, our hive is the TWRP1, so we'll just need to select that and click open. And as you may see, the binary size matches the binary, the size of the zip. So we're ready to flash TWRP on our Galaxy S8. This is all the procedure we need. Please make sure you double check AP. I mean, it's only check, but uh, you're actually flashing in the AP section. Everything is set to normal as it is. And um, we're gonna be flashing TWRP by clicking start. Okay, so right now, as you may see, um, sorry there. Okay, so I'll have to actually grant the permission of Odin. The defender is actually nitpicking. Okay, so right now, as you may see here, TWRP is running on our Galaxy S8 and the... You can disconnect the phone right now and uh, 
it says pass so everything went okay so right now it says unmodified system partition but right now i'll get to the main camera and show you how uh, how to configure 2WRP because there are some interesting things that you may want to consider doing um, and i will show that in a in a minute stay tuned okay so we're into recovery right now and we'll have to deactivate data encryption on our galaxy s8 so we can access internal storage in the future for flashing custom ROMs, kernels, tweaks, etc. The first warning screen can be skipped, so just slide to allow modifications. Now we're in the main screen of 2WRP. Go to install, then navigate to 2WRAS folder, then flashables, and there you'll have two files. The no veritai opt encrypt zip and the magisk v12 arm64 zip. Firstly, you'll need to flash the no verity opt encrypt zip and wait for the installation to finish. Then you should reboot into recovery so that it refreshes the settings. After reboot it back into recovery, click wipe and click format data. It will let you know that this action will deactivate the encryption over data partition. Make sure you type yes and format it. Now you can go back and flash Magisk version 12 from TWRES slash flashables folder and your device is now officially rooted. You can fully reboot the device now into the operating system. Take in mind that the first boot will take 5 to 10 minutes, so go get some cookies and wait. After the booting process you'll notice that you have a new application installed called Magisk Manager. This will allow you to root a stat. This will show you the root status of your device and right now as you can clearly see it's completely rooted. The funny thing which makes me laugh a little bit even if it's almost 4am in the morning is that I got my Galaxy S8 on 19th of April and now 5 days later it's rooted. That's what I'm talking about and real life. Anyway that was the tutorial I hope it helped if it did click that thumbs up button and subscribe right down to my channel so you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.